Yeah, fam. We packed to get another load. I like getting bags. Man, let's call me the bag collector because I want to collect them all. Man, I just pulled up to the shipper. I think I'm where I'm going to get loaded. But let me run in here, make sure, and then I'm going to come out, get loaded, and I'm going to tell you where we're going to get this little bag. You got to get the little bags too. Maybe I want them all. But yeah, I'll be right back. Let me go get, get this load up out of here. How's your day going? Good to go. Okay, yep. All right, fam, we is loaded. Man, when they put that first pallet on there, I said, hold on. Is this weight right? <laughs> but then I had to let, take a closer look. He had set the pallet down on the edge of the bumper and made it drop. I was like, oh my goodness. But yeah, the weight was off. It's a little higher than I normally go, but I wasn't sitting in Georgia. And I say normally go, you know, I stay in the low twos. This weight right here is 27. We cool, we cool. I know some of y'all be like, don't go too big. We, we going up the road, baby. We going up the road. I had to get the moving because I couldn't just sit in ATL. I couldn't sit in ATL. We got to keep moving daily and get the bag. So yeah, man, we in Chadsworth, Georgia. Yep, I had the deadhead up. I told y'all before, deadhead is part of this game, but it wasn't far. It wasn't far. I only had the deadhead like 82 miles. 82 miles, because well, old boy wasn't popping this morning. Stuff started jumping in the afternoon. Something even jumped up there while I was taking this load. And I was like, man, I might, I really want that one. And it's like, no, no. You got to understand discernment and patience. That ain't the law. That ain't the one that the guy wanted me on. He wanted me on this one. Because if he wanted me on that one, he would have gave me that one first. But he gave me this one. I believe every one I get is the one that he has for me. Because remember, I always tell you, what's for you is for you. That don't just apply to me. It applies to you too and everybody else that ain't found our channel over here to come join the family. It applies to them too. They'll come over here one day. Whoever take that load, that load that I was thinking, oh, I kind of want that one. That load is for them. This load is for me. So yeah, baby, we about to get up out of here. We're in Chasworth, Georgia, and we about to head up to Greensboro, North Carolina. It don't drop off till tomorrow. So it's all good. It's all good. We're going to take it easy. It ain't but 350 miles. <laughs> but you know your boy. If I'm going 350, you know I had to get paid a dollar minimum. So you know it's 350, but it ain't. I'll tell you that on the other end. <laughs> but no, nah, fam, we got to get up out of here. We ain't in no rush. We're going to cruise 350. That's about six hours. We're just going to cruise on up there. Do what we normally do, get there, relax. And it gives me time to look at some of the comments and get to answering some of the questions. And I was, Matter of fact, let's talk about one of the questions. But we're going to talk about that while we driving, baby, while we on this road. So, yeah. Let me get on up out of here. We got 350 miles. We're going to get finished out this day and pull up in North Carolina tonight. But we're going to talk while we riding, baby. We're going to talk. So I'll tap back in with you in just a little bit.
and we still rolling. Yep, yep. But I told you I was gonna hit you up, and your boy trying to do his best never to let you down. Cause y'all don't let me down, baby. Y'all always rock with me. But yeah, man, I'll be getting all them questions in the comment. And some be hitting me up directly through the DMs and all that, just hitting the boy up some email. But I was like, hey, let's start having them real conversations because you know I try to drop nuggets in every video. But let's talk about something I get a question all the time, either what made me get in this game or somebody's thinking about getting a cargo van, getting in the game. So I was like, let's talk about what I know so far. Because yes, I'm still new to this too. I'm still learning, just like you. But let's think about what we would take to get in this game. So I felt like, what's those three things that I feel you should think about or know before you even get to the part of buying a van or thinking about buying a van? So let's go with the first one, and then these ain't in no order. Uh, the first one is ability. The ability, what is your ability? I say that because, let's be honest, everybody ain't a driver. Are you able to be a driver? It don't matter if you do gig work. It don't matter if you want to do local, get a van, go local, OTR, regional. Either way it go, are you a driver? Because you got to be a driver to do this. Like, if you're one of them people, because we know them. I got people in my family, my wife one of them. I got one of my kids like this. Like, they not going to be driving long distance. They want to get to their destination 20, 30 minutes, hour, done. They don't want to be out on the road driving. They don't want to be doing gig gaps because gig gaps require a lot of driving. You might have a route with Amazon or VHO or anything, driving four or six hours delivering packages. Even if you're doing DoorDash or Spark, that's hours out there. You don't just go out there for 20, 30 minutes and go home. You won't make no money. So you got to know your ability. If you're not one of those individuals, hey, there's nothing wrong with it. I still appreciate you showing love watching us drive. But hey, if you are, before you even think about it, ask yourself, before you want to invest that time and money, are you? does your ability say you can drive and sit and ride for hours? Take breaks, of course, but are you are you able to do this? Because this, it looks easy, it looks easy, but you got to think, it's still wearing and tearing the bottom, body. So you got to stretch, you got to do all that mentally up here driving for hours. Most of the time, you're by yourself. Are you able to do that? That's one. Cause it ain't like a nine to five. I know people can't, that's a better way to put it. If you're one of those people and you hear people say it all the time, I can't sit in the cubicle. I can't do it. I, I'm one of those, I did it for 20 years. Some people, you just can't sit in the cubicle all day long. Or you can't be outside working. There's different sets of people. So are you able to drive? That's one. The two, second one, do you have patience? Yeah, the second one is patience. Cause again, I said that, yes, you got to be able to do the driving and all that, but, and it looks easy when we just clip together the videos, but it's parts behind the scene you don't see, and you got to have patience for that. Are you able to wait on the load? Are you able to make sure you are patient with the brokers and patient with the, the dispatchers, because it's a lot of stuff that happens behind the scenes, but you got to have patience. Like, I'll give you an example. Like, I checked out of the hotel this morning before I got this load. Checked out at 11 o'clock. Start searching for loads. They're not just right there ready for you. As soon as you open the app, you pick a load up and you got it. No, it's patience. You got to search for them, negotiate. Some fall through. Other drivers, remember I told you in the beginning, what's for you is for you. The mother loads for other drivers that you're looking at, you're not going to get those. Do you have to pay? Because you can't get mad. You can't get sad. But most of all, you got to have patience with yourself. Give yourself some grace because it's going to take some time to find those loads, especially in the beginning. Find those loads and, and get to the location. Everything is patience in this game. Think about it. Just to get an MC, going to take 20 to 25 business days. That's patience. Then to, to wait for the MC to mature, that takes six months to a year. That's patience. In some people's case, when they get in this game, you might work for a carrier. That's going to be some real patience. Because what about when you get out on that road? Matter of fact, matter of fact, I got to shout out my bro, Big Russ. If everybody don't know what I'm talking about, because if you want to get in the game, for one, you should be doing research. You should be trying to follow as many people in the cargo van as you can. So I'm going to shout out my boy, Big Russ. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to his channel, Every Damn Wrestling. I make sure we put it in the description. But Every Damn Wrestling, Big Russ, man, he's one of those running for a carrier. 
and he's eating out there, killing it. Him and his wife, they amazing, man. Like, yeah, they go follow. Him. Matter of fact, yeah, just like we show love over here to fam, that's fam over there. He already follows, we follow him. Just go show love to fam. Big Russ, what's up, Russ? Matter of fact, I talked to Russ today while I was waiting on his load. We're supposed to link up because we was in Atlanta because together, but we both got loads at the same time. Had to run separate raids. We were so close, but don't worry, we gonna link up. That's a must. But yeah, go follow Big Russ. But he runs for a carry. And he even talks about it in his videos. Like, there are times when you're gonna be with that carrier. After you drop a load, you gotta have patience, baby. You gotta wait for that dispatcher to go find you another load in your area so they can keep you running. They might even sometimes, a patience again, make you deadhead, because that's part of the game. You gotta have that deadhead patience. You're gonna be sometimes driving with no loads to get to a better area. Don't get down on yourself. Be patient with yourself and be patient with the process. You gotta have that coming in. And the third one, discipline. This game requires discipline. When I say discipline, I mean all the way around. If you're one of them people that struggle with time management, late places, can't get places at time, these people want their friend picked up and dropped off in a timely manner. They have pickup times, they have drop off times. And the discipline also goes in hand in hand with patience sometimes, because some carriers you're gonna get to on time and they might be backed up. Now you gotta have patience, but you gotta have the discipline to stay there. And once you still get the load, you gotta still have the discipline to get there on time. But the biggest discipline you need to have is that money discipline. Because with, with, with this game, money comes fast, but it can leave just as fast. When I say that, think about gear gaps. Some gear gaps play uh, every once a week. Some gear gaps pay twice, twice a week. Like I know VHO plays on Wednesdays and Fridays. And Amazon Flex and certain apps like that play on Friday. Then you have apps like DoorDash that get your money the same day. But when you're in this OTR game and a local game, regional game, doing all that, depending on when you file or put in your paperwork, your BOL, BOL laden, POD, proof of de delivery, you can get that money the next day, sometimes two days later, depending on if you're running with certain companies in their 30s, that means 30 days. I don't suggest that. That means you got to wait 30 days for your money. But you got to have discipline to not just blow through your money because you need to manage that. But this game requires discipline because not only are you your own boss, regardless if you're over the carrier or not, it's 1099. You're your own boss and all that stuff. It requires you to be on time, manage your money, and find the biggest discipline for me and you. Find that balance for work-life balance. You gotta have time for your family, yourself, work, no when to rest, discipline. It's good to chase the money, but you gotta know when to kick back and relax, rest, spend time with the family, spend time with the loved ones. Spend some of that money you've been disciplined to hold on to with those loved ones. Those are three, you know what I'm saying? The ability, the discipline. And what was the second one? I just lost it that fast. I'm sorry, y'all, you know I'm driving. So my mind is thinking about like 500 different things right now. So yes, gotta have discipline. You gotta have uh, the ability to have that discipline to not mess off your money. You gotta have that ability, that ability to just do what we do, drive. And you gotta have that patience. Not just patience with the process, but patience with yourself. But you know your boy, <laughs> I'm gonna give you a bonus. I just said three, but I'm gonna give you a bonus. And this one is big, cause I see this a lot in social media. I witnessed this a lot during my time in the military. Like, especially when you're in leadership positions and you talking and dealing with different people. Communication. Again, communication ain't just about talking. It's also about listening. But you gotta have communication, man. If you wanna last in this game, you're gonna have to be able to communicate with people. That's a bonus because you gotta build relationships. You gotta listen, actively listen. Don't be thinking ahead of what you're gonna do. Know what you gotta do. Communication ain't just about listening and and, and to, to what, what people are telling you or are talking and making relationships, that communication is knowing what's going on around you in your environment. Like right now, we have all these hurricanes. I wanna say first off, um, wanna silent prayer for those individuals that were affected by the hurricanes going on. The one that hit North Carolina, the one that's on its way to Florida, already passed over Mexico. Certain parts of Georgia been hit, like yes, brief second of silence. 
want to just show love to y'all. Everybody know, just believe. We might be watching YouTube, we might be driving, but we rocking with y'all. And we want y'all to recover, get back as strong as you can. Everybody in those areas help, but communication is key because you got to listen, you got to watch. You got to know what's going on in those areas that you're driving to, driving from. Because there was a couple of drivers that was down in Florida had to get up out of there as fast as possible. Like the low board now still has loads going down to Florida. And if you call and communicate with them, they still want you to take it down there. But then that's where that discipline comes in. That's when that patience comes in. Discipline enough to know not to put yourself or your, your, your asset, which is your vehicle, in harm's way because your family still needs you to come home. You need you to come home. Don't be so chasing the money so much that you're willing to communicate with anybody and take loads that's going anywhere, especially in bad weather situation, bad road conditions, anything. Communication is key, and that's why you build relationships with people that brokers, dispatchers, that got your best interests at heart as well. So yeah, fam, I'm going to do this more often, but I know I said those three. I wanted those three things to be like on your mind. If you're thinking about getting in this game, that, 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 that communication is a, a bonus, but those main three, of having the ability to do it, the patience with yourself and the process, and the discipline to do it because it's all on you. You have to depend on you just like your family depending on you to make sure you come on, save all that stuff, make the money. You have to have the discipline and discernment that go hand in hand to know what to take, what not to take. Don't just run around here chasing bags, but that calls that communication and bonus. But fam, all of y'all that are already out here in these cargo van streets, box truck streets, big rig streets, if, 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 if you have something to add on, drop it in the comments. Help the people that's on the fam that's watching that's trying to learn. If, if it's something I need to add on to, let me know. Or just tell your experiences because you're already out there. And the people that's trying to think about it, check out the comments. Somebody might already answered your question. Check out other videos. We might already answer your question. If not, still leave it in the comments. Because fam, over here we help each other. We drop that knowledge for everybody. We want you to get it. But yeah, those those main three things plus the bonus that I want you to consider when you think about getting into this game right here. Because it is worth it. You're going to have fun. You're going to make money. Just know on the back end, it's stuff behind the scenes I need you thinking about before you get into it. But yeah, man, I'm not going to hold you up. I'm not rambled on long enough. I'm in these mountains up here. They beautiful up here, man, up here in North Carolina, driving through these mountains. But yeah, I'm finna get on up this road. I'm not going to tell y'all when I get there because all I'm doing is going straight to the hotel after I do my reconnaissance. You know you got to do the reconnaissance. But after I do a little reconnaissance, know exactly where I'm going, go and get that hotel. And I'm going to pick y'all up in the morning when I'm dropping this thing off. So give me a second. going to be like a second or two for y'all. Cause I'll see it drop it off. It's gonna be a couple of hours for me. <laughs> but yeah, fam, I'm finna go and get up this road and get through these mountains safely. Discipline. And uh I'll go ahead and pick y'all up when it's time to unload when we get to the to the receipt. I'll tap back at with you in the morning, baby.
Yeah, fam, we done. It's finito. We out of here, man. Like, just a little quick hit. I just ran up to North Carolina. Dropped it off this morning. It had a late drop off. That's the one thing I didn't like about it. It didn't drop off to like 10, but it don't matter. It don't matter, man. We about to get up out of here. Your boy is real rested. We finished with that load. Ran the 350 miles. They paid your boy a dollar 14 a mile. Yeah, we got the quick 400. And we about to get up out of here again, man. Like, we got to keep running this bag up and up and up. Because we got to go. But remember what I told y'all. If you're thinking about jumping into this game, think about them three things we already talked about. Fourth, if you think about the bonus, man. You got to think about those things when you jumped in. Because you see what just happened. Ran up here yesterday. Dropped the load. And we about to get up out of here. And that's you got to know that first one. We talked about that ability to be able to do this type of thing. And I think you got it. I think you got it in you. But hey, you know better than me, so don't let me to try to try to hold you up and tell you who you are. I just believe in you, so believe in yourself. Got to have that ability. And the next thing, I'm finna get on this low boy, baby, and I got to have patience. The patience to either sit here, the patience to find something I'm going to have to deadhead to, but it's going to take that patience. But either way it go, we signed the paperwork. Yep, yep, yep. Paperwork has already been sent off. So that 400, because it's still early, should hit tomorrow. And if not, it don't matter, because... Them last two lows, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back. They already hit this morning, baby. They already hit this morning. So we're looking real debonair. But yeah, now I got to have that discipline not to know to go blow that money out there. Hit. Remember them three things. But either way, man, got to make a, phone, a, couple of, uh, a couple of phone calls to communicate, to negotiate, see if I got something that any of the brokers got that I can pick up while I'm searching this low board. Either way it go, I got to use them four things that I told you about. And I want you to consider that. Make sure that's who you are when you get in this game. Because let's be honest, some people, we just, I'm one of them people times. I just don't like talking to people. That ain't going to work all the way, all the time out here. But either way, man, I appreciate y'all for riding with you, boy. <laughs> we in this thing, but we got to get out this thing. But either way it go, fam. As always, man. As always, think about the four things I told you about. You thinking about jumping in this. And don't worry, I got more stuff. We're going to keep this thing going. I'm going to drop more nuggets of stuff that you need to think about for the cargo van. What you want to do, how you want to do it. Stuff I'm learning while I'm on the road. My my things I wish I would have knew before I came in. Things I learned since I've been in. I'm going to slowly start dropping them. So make sure, new fam, go ahead. I called you new fam because you're watching this. It might be your first time, but go and hit the subscribe button and join the fam. And I'm going to keep dropping the knowledge that I know. Best believe the fam that's already in the game that's watching the videos, they're going to be in the comments. They already be supporting and showing love to y'all and dropping the knowledge they got in the comments, fam. If I miss some of y'all, let me know. But either way it go, I appreciate you. And day one, fam, everybody, y'all know what to do. Hit the like, hit the share button. And hit the notification button so you know where your boy BG moving to next. Because best believe when I find out, I'm going to let you know. Because we fam. We got to keep it transparent, baby. But either way it go, fam, I want you to go out there and get the bag. Because I'm straight finna go find another bag. But until the next video, baby, because this one's over with, I want y'all to stay blessed.